Hi, Lee Phillips again. I want to talk about how to get somebody out of a corporation or an LLC. You may be business partners with somebody. Now, you're not partners, you're LLC members together, but you're partners, okay? And you want to go your separate ways. You want to continue the LLC. The other guy doesn't want to continue the LLC. He wants out. That's fine. Get him out. How do you get him out? That's the question. Well, you may have to buy him out, and I'm not going to go into the economics of it. That's for you to figure out. But legally, what you're going to do is you're going to put a minute entry in. Now, here again, you've got to look at your operating agreement or your bylaws. If it's corporation bylaws, operating agreement, LLC. They may have something written in there that says how you get rid of a member or if the guy wants to sell his stock, basically selling his stock or his membership interests. You may be buying it, the company may be buying it back, it may go back into the treasury, but we're getting rid of this guy and the bylaws operating agreement may say that everybody has a first right of refusal. If there's four of you in the LLC or the corporation, Joe down here, he may want to buy that guy's piece so that he has a bigger control. Uh, so look at the operating agreement, the bylaws. Assuming that everything's cool, doesn't say anything about it or whatever, you're going to have the guy sign the back of his membership certificate or his stock certificate. <gasps> You didn't ever issue a stock certificate or a membership certificate, did you? Well, okay, let's make a minute entry in the books. You remember you're supposed to have meetings, take minutes, that sort of stuff. That's another YouTube. But we make a minute entry that says Joe is returning his stock membership interest to the company. And at that point, if there is a certificate or a stock certificate, membership certificate, you're going to have him sign the back, transfer it to the company or transfer it to you, whatever you want. And you're going to cross out certificate number one or certificate number two, whatever that one is, and say transferred to company or transferred to you or whatever. And that takes it off of the books. Now, what you pay the guy is another issue. The guy may have put money into it. He didn't get anything out, he just wants out. Fine, he now has a tax loss. <clears throat> because he gave his stock certificate back, got zero for it. So the economics of it are another issue. But the how to get rid of him from a legal standpoint, from the company standpoint, is pretty easy. Make the minute entry, have him sign the certificate, cut off the certificate on the stock books. Now, you may have to adjust the membership role or the, 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 the owner's role on the state books. Some states require that you list the members in the LLC. Fine, you can make an amendment at that point to those state records. Just go to the state website, unless you're in California, they don't have a state website and get the amendment papers and take his name off of that list. Or if it's close to the annual, then you wait for the state, some states do, some states don't, you wait for the state to send out the request for the update of the information and you send it into the state with your check for that year and, and pay them off. So get his name off and if you're the one leaving you want your name off because you don't want to be liable for anything on those state records uh, you want out so make sure that your name is off call up the state a month later and say hey is is Joe Blow me a member of this LLC if you if you're recorded at the state records if you're recorded you got a problem because you haven't been out yet you're still on the records and you don't want to be on the records. So check the records too if you're the one leaving. Um, that's pretty much about it as far as the legal aspects of taking a person off the roll 
as a stockholder in a small company or an LLC.